Namaste everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to Louise, I'm going to be doing a Bulgarian taste test. Now Louise is actually from the UK, but while she was in Bulgaria on holiday, she went to the effort to buy me these amazing Bulgarian treats. I haven't looked inside the box here, I did cut it around with a knife. So let's have a look at what's in the box. Oh, oh, what's this? Have a look, she sent me a letter, sealed in plastic. Hi Tam, I hope all of these treats have reached you okay. All of these treats were bought in a tiny village called... Do you want me to say that? Of course you do. Kableshkov. Did I say that well? While she was there, she went to a local gypsy market. She included a receipt and a local newspaper, but what I spotted was these. They are so beautiful. These are some handmade slippers. How beautiful, let's put them on. I hope they fit me. I've got quite big feet. Wow, they're a nice color too. I'm not very flexible, I'm trying to get my foot. Oh, these actually fit really well. And they're really comfortable. You've got no idea how comfortable they are. How good's that? They're like little ballet slippers. They're beautiful, I love them, thank you. In this box there are soups, there are noodles, all kinds of treats. I'm going to divvy it up so I can have a couple of Bulgarian taste tests. There's even Kinder Surprises. There's coffees as well. There's a special way to make Bulgarian coffee, I feel, and I'm also afraid. I'm worried I'm gonna get this one wrong. I'm very, very worried about it. I won't do it this time because I'm not ready. This is the Bulgarian newspaper here. I love looking at newspapers from other countries. You learn, oh, you learn learn a lot. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. If that's what all the women look like in Bulgaria. Jeez, I'm never going there. <laughs> what do the men look like in Bulgaria? You're probably wondering. There you go. Wow, doesn't he look puffy? So I've selected some things, so let's do a Bulgarian taste test. First up, I have this item here, and it's got a cute little monkey on the front. It looks like it's aimed towards kids, but today a fully grown adult's going to be eating it. Oh, that's so cute. Look at it. It's adorable. It's actually in the shape of a little monkey. It feels like a little bit like a sponge cake or something. It just smells like vanilla. I'm already happy with this, even if it tastes awful. I love it because it's just so cute to look at. Oh. Mmm. He has custard on the inside. Wow. <laughs> It's a cute little vanilla cake and then on the inside it's got a custard. It tastes a little bit like banana but I don't know if that's just my imagination because I'm eating something shaped like a monkey. Either way, it's super cute. Kids would love this but I love it too. Don't expect me to say that, please. This one looks like it's come straight from the ground or straight from an olive tree. So it's got an olive oil bottle there. That must mean, it means nothing to me. Flavored with olive oil and wheat from the ground. And they're little tiny rings as you can see. See ya. Here they are. Oh, they don't really look very eventful, but oh, no, no, they don't smell like much, but they might taste good. No? Wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, these better be good for me. <laughs> mm. They're really, really dry, crunchy snacks. Well, they're a little bit like dry biscuits, but they really don't have much flavor at all. I'd probably get these and put them in a dip or something just to make them, just to give them a bit of love or something. I don't know. Does that look appealing to you? Do you want to eat that? And I don't know if these are popular in Bulgaria, but I don't really like them. No, they're a bit nothing. They're a bit flavorless. If you've ever accidentally eaten cardboard, I'd imagine this is what it would be like. You can keep those Bulgarian. Next up I've got this thing here. It's sort of squashed in the packet. It's got chocolate on the outside, but it does look interesting. Oops, he... Oh, it's very, very soft. Is this some sort of a cake? Have a look in the middle of it. Oh, is that what you expected? Mmm, it smells absolutely delicious. It's a cake with layers in it. What sort of layers are they? I do not know. Vanilla cake? Mmm. The chocolate on the outside is really quite nice. The inside feeling, that cream feeling, is like a nutty feeling of some kind, a creamy nutty feeling, but it's quite tasty. The vanilla cake flavour is pretty good. It's got a bit of dryness to it, but it has got enough moisture in there to keep my interest. And for a pre-packaged cake, this is pretty good. Yeah. I don't mind that actually. 
Time for a beverage break and today I have a tea and it's a rose hip tea. This is a Rosa Carina herbal tea. There's 20 tea bags by the way. Here's a stupid question for you and I probably should know the answer but I don't. Is rose hip related to roses in any way? I feel like that's something I should know but I I don't, so leave a comment below if you're a smarty pants. On the cover there, it looks like it's some sort of a different plant with berries on it and bits of, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I've never actually had a rose hip tea before. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Doesn't have much of a scent to it, which is really bizarre. Plonk that in. It started to slightly change color, but it's not changing color a lot. I don't know why, it can't be bothered, I suppose. Cheers. medicinal in a lot of ways it's quite nice to drink it has a berry twiggy branchy leafy spice rack tasty to it it's a very subtle plain taste to it but it is she is a tea that I would drink it's non-offensive mm. the health benefits in this are probably amazing I do not know what they are I don't know what I'm drinking but I like it it's the Bulgarian Snickers I'm guessing it's just the same it says Snickers on the side here we'll find out it looks the same as our Snickers here. Break it in half, see the middle of it, and yes, that's exactly the same as we have it here. It's got the caramel, the peanuts, the nougat sort of filling. Mmm. Oh. How good is Snickers? Mmm. Bulgarian Snickers bar. Nice. Sasha Sweet Plus. I think, and I could be wrong, this sounds like a German name. It looks very nice though. That's not Bulgaria. I don't know. Isn't Sasha like a tort, like a cake thing? Oh wow, doesn't that look gorgeous? Mm. Yum. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can taste alcohol. Super chocolatey, it's got chocolate on the outside, then chocolate wafers in the middle, and then a filling in the middle, which is like a jam filling, but I swear I can taste alcohol. I really do, and I haven't had any. <laughs> I swear. I don't know if this is from Bulgaria or not, but it's obviously sold there and it is delicious. Yum. Good luck saying this one. I won't. Paw prints on it as well. Oh, it does look like it's been inside a bird at one stage. I think it might be made with honey or some sort of sweet and stuff that sticks it all together. It smells super sweet. Yum. I think that looks really tasty. Mmm. Oh, I love that. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm. That's delicious. I love this. Wow, that stuck to my finger. It's sticky and sweet. It's got beautiful little sesame seeds all the way through it. It's gorgeous. Next up, uh, that one. Is that right? It looks amazing, this one. It looks like a wafer thing. It's quite big. Ah. Oh. Whoa, how gorgeous this is. Mmm, wow. Has that got wafers and cake in it as well? You're serious, has it? Mmm. It's got different layers of sweet stuff, which I have no idea what they are. No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. I feel like I can taste ginger. It can't be, is there ginger? There's probably no ginger in it, is there? It tastes like cake, wafer biscuits, and chocolate all rolled into one. This is a lovely, sweet, delicious treat, and it's massive. Love this. Thank you so much, Louise. I really do appreciate you getting me all of these treats, and there's more Bulgarian taste tests to come, which is exciting. Now, if you want to go and check out Louise's channel, she has recently started making videos, which is super exciting. It takes a lot of courage, so if you want to go and check out her channel, I will leave a link in the description below. Go say hi to her, at least. And if everyone in the comments below could thank Louise, because without her, this taste test would not be possible. Blaga Doria, very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to support me and my channel, share this video, subscribe, ding the bell for notifications, and give it the thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.